Yeah. Hey, so we're at, we're at Ustream right now. They're live streaming this on Ustream. Literally millions of people look at this, and they right. keep the, um, people keep asking, what, they want to know what you think about the pants on the ground guy. Oh, okay. yeah. What's that? But you don't know the pants on the ground so guy? So Merv Griffin, Justin Bieber. No, stop it. No, no, no. Pants on the ground guy is this week. <laughs> wow, what is it? He's the guy that um, General Larry Platt, who sang the song on American Idol. He's 62 years old. He never had a chance of being on the show because he's too old, right? right? But he sang this song called Pants on the Ground. And it swept the country. Did you see Brett Favre win? Not, when he, he lost last week, but the week before when he won, he was in the locker room and he was singing Pants on the Ground in the locker room? Who's Brett Favre? Oh, come on. No, I'm kidding, man. I got Brett Favre. No, I didn't see it, man. I don't know who this it's guy is. It's this huge song. So he's going to the you Emmy. got the song going like playback or something in here? Who can, who can sing this? Oh, what? These guys are great. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. One second. TMZ's like a machine. Oh, can you, can you play it? Okay. I gotta say, what do you think? That's a hit. It's a total <laughs> hit. It's a total hit. And everybody's playing it, but the guy never got this on copyright. Right. So he hasn't made any money off of it. Wow. But it's still a song. No, no, still. no, because it turns out that there's this rap group. What's the name of the group? Like attacking them. Rap up a little bit. Oh no, no, no. What's the name of the group? The Green Brothers. So there's a group called the Green Brothers that 20 years ago did a song called Deep. Pock pockets on the floor. Pockets on the floor. Oh, wow. And it sounds, I'm telling you, it sounds exactly pockets like it. Pockets on the floor. Pockets, pockets on the floor. On the floor. Yeah, that's yeah. We should do one. We should do one. Game and Harvard. <laughs> um, but he may have ripped off Pockets on the Floor, but it's almost like people don't care anymore because he was on Idol. So everybody's after this guy now, and he's going to be on the red carpet at the Grammys on wow. Sunday. Wow. What do you think? I think that he just blew up like Kim Kardashian. It's a yes. Yeah. That's exactly what he's done. That's exactly it. He's blown up like it's exactly what he's done. Right. That's crazy. You like it? The song is phenomenal. I think so. <laughs> no, it, it. The lyrics are mind blowing. I don't think he's kidding. Mind blowing. No, I don't think. I, are you kidding seriously? Because I like it. I know. I really like it. I like it too. Yeah. Okay. You guys have questions? People yeah. want to know about. Um, Sorry, I cut you off there. Uh, people want to know about Madden. You're uh, apparently one of the best Madden guys around. In the world. In the world. Yeah. Who Who is the? Uh, have you ever like dominated? Like, who's the best player you've ever played against? Um. Jesus. Jesus. Ma yeah. <laughs> Ma Madden. Madden is a is no, a, is a, dude a video on Madden game. His name is Jesus. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, he's saying, no, his name is really Jesus. Or maybe it's Jesus. Maybe it's. Do you ever play for? <laughs> do you ever play for money? Huh? Do you ever play for money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow Wow still owe me about eighty-five thousand. Bow Wow's you eighty-five grand. Eighty-five thousand. Eighty-five thousand dollars. So hey, if you sue him, can you bet a hundred thousand? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Yeah, if I sue him, it kills my street cred. You bet a hundred thousand? <laughs> yeah. And I and I twenty-one skunked him. Anybody seen that YouTube? Y'all supposed to have that on playback. Did you seriously bet a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. And he paid you fifteen. And I, I'm looking for my eighty-five, man. But he paid you fifteen. Yeah. When did he? When did this happen? This was last year, like early 2009, I think. Yeah. And why wouldn't? Have you talked to him? No, I haven't talked to him. He'll well, give it to me one day. Though. When? I don't know. When TMZ tracks me down. You need a good lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Let's get him. I get 33%. 33%. Yeah. So. <laughs> Kane, you've been in the studio this week writing for Dr. Dre. Yeah. Can you tip us off a little bit? Who else has been in there, and when can we expect Detox I've to finally people, drop? I've seen people try to tip people off about what Dre's doing, and those people have never seen Dre again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on with you and Nocturnal right now? A little beef between you and Nocturnal? Justin Bieber, Merv Griffin, he's one of those guys. Wow. Okay, for, <laughs> first of all, you, you got to come on. This is the whitest guy you've ever seen in your life. First From of Canada. All. I just yeah. want you to see. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Oh, Good yeah. to meet you. Get your shine on, man. I appreciate it. Whitest guy, whitest guy ever. <laughs> Yo, he okay. don't know what to do. He like. Oh. <laughs> this is my first time on, on TMZ Live, and I'm here with the right. game. I love it. In the Harvey. Hey, 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 TMZ is great. Okay. You want to talk to Gilbert lately? Hey, but this guy's got that total. What, Gilbert Arenas? He's. 
Your boys with Gilbert. Yeah. Right? Oh, I didn't know your boys yeah. with Gilbert. You tried to diss him. I need to get out. Like, I was trying to like, diss him. I was asking him. Hold on, Harvey. I can't. No. I didn't know you knew him. Yeah, man. Oh. It's like one of my best friends in the world. Have you talked to him since it happened? Nah, man. Whenever, whenever you know things happen of catastrophic proportion, I try to stay away, you know, and kind of let people do their thing, man. Have you ever played Boo Ray with him? Well, no, I've never played the card game, and at, you know, at this rate, I'm not going. Yeah, to really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else? I haven't talked. Yeah, I haven't talked to Gilbert, man, about that. I haven't talked to Tiger in a while. Do you think he'll the Tiger? Because I, I just literally did an interview with somebody. Do you think he'll recover, Tiger Woods? Uh, nope. Really? I don't think so. No way. It's it's hard to, I don't know, man, when you lose your family, man, your kids and, and, and your wife, man, I, don't, I think it's kind of hard to focus on a little hole, you know, and hitting the ball for hundreds of yards, man. Uh, what if what if in two years, whether he his marriage survives or not, in two years and three years at a point when he moves on with his life, if he wins again in golf, beats Jack Nicholas's record, um... Will he resurrect himself? Only if he gets engaged to Oprah. That'd be dope, right? Tiger Woods and Oprah. I mean, Oprah. you really think? I'm serious. <laughs> that would be cool. If you seen Tiger Woods and Oprah on the red carpet at the Grammys, you, you, that, that wouldn't be a cute couple. Yeah, and that's not going to happen. He makes a good point, though. If Oprah walks him out, if like his first public appearance is with Oprah, she's not, she's not going to do that. Why not? I don't think she would do that. Why? She's not nice. Well, enough. only to get him on the show. She's yeah. Nice. No, because he cheated. She's not going to. Yeah, but here I want support because he okay. cheated. Okay, so here's the thing. Who's the most beloved athlete in L.A. right now? Kobe. Exactly. That's my point. Right. Kobe. Five years ago, you would never say that would happen. No. So it did. It did. So why can't it happen with Tiger? Uh, I don't know, man. I think golf is a little bit more grown up and respected and, like, you know, it's a uh, bougie sport. Yeah. I love that bougie sport. bougie sport. I know what a bougie sport is. Yeah, I'm like, not, I'm uh, not a bourgeois sport. What's the sport called where they hit the hit the balls Cricket. on the horse? Oh, the uh, polo. See another one. Yeah, but see, here's the other side of that. That I never would watch a golf. I would never watch a golf game on uh, TV. I'd never watch a golf tournament. The first time Tiger plays, I'm glued to the TV. So they're going to get people that never would have watched golf. So it's only going to increase the popularity of golf in right. the place because he's got a texture to him now. Right, you just want to see what he's going to do. That's right. Yeah, I'm with Harvey.